Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Per your request, I started this video about my friend and colleague, Dr. Brenda Hall. She's an oral surgeon and we're going to explore what it takes to become an oral surgeon. At the end of this video, I'll also include my video about what it takes to become a dentist. I hope you enjoy and welcome to Miami, Florida. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brenda Hall and I am a board certified oral maxillofacial surgeon vacationing in Miami with the lovely Dr. Michelle Chartier. She said she had a couple questions asked of her about what it's like and how to become an oral surgeon. How do you become an oral maxillofacial surgeon? There's a couple options. So first you have to do your undergrad. Most get their four year degree and then apply to dental school. There are very few who don't get their four-year degree and go to dental school early. After undergrad, you will take the DAT and uh, apply for dental school. You have four years of dental school. After dental school, you'll apply to oral surgery programs. There are two types of oral surgery programs. There's a four-year degree and then there's an eight, uh, six years. Four years, you uh, just go to four years, finish your residency program, and then you can uh, feel free to practice. Um, the six years include the two extra years of medical school. What does my day look like now? I will say it looks much different than residency. Residency is very difficult, very long, one of the hardest things you will ever do. However, the reward is great. Um, there are different options that you can uh, do to become an, um, when you do an oral surgeon. You could do private practice, a solo private practice. You can do a uh, group practice, and you can also, what's very popular right now is becoming an independent contractor. For me, that's what I am right now. I've tried the others. And right now what works is um, uh, an independent contractor. And I get up probably around 5.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, leave about 5.30, start my day for surgeries about 7 o'clock. For me, I usually finish around 2 or 3 o'clock, um, which works for me. Um, there are some that work five days a week with different hours. So what do I do during the day? So I have different locations that I go to and which um, cause me to do different things. I work in a dental office that where I do mostly third molar extractions and single implants. I provide all their oral surgery so they don't have to refer out to an oral surgeon. I also work at Clear Choice, which is also known for um, the teeth in a day or the all on four technique or just implants. And in a day we can do anywhere from three to five arches in a day. Salaries for residency. It's going to be different wherever you go and depending on the city that you go to. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. Anywhere between 40 and 45,000 uh, is what you get paid during residency. As far as salary your first year out of uh, residency, and that is going to greatly vary uh, depending on where you live as well and the demand for oral surgeons in the area. In Atlanta, Georgia, it's between 200 and 250,000 a year. As you know, residency can be very competitive in dental school and you're trying to figure out what you wanna do. Oral surgery is one of the most competitive uh, programs out there. You really have to know and be committed to that uh, being exactly what you want. You have to study hard. You have to be in one of the top percentage of your class. Um, most, uh, and if you're not, I will say there are other avenues. If you graduate dental school and then you apply to a GPR program or maybe even a um, uh, oral surgery program where they have an internship, it's a good way to get your feet wet and to figure out what you want to do and to prove yourself. Here's my path on how I became an oral surgeon. My uh, mother worked for a doctor and uh, a surgeon actually. and. I had goals of becoming a surgeon. I worked in a hospital. I started off as a phlebotomist. And I asked many doctors what types of surgery um, interested them the most and if they had any recommendations. I watched a lot of surgery while in the OR and unanimously almost every surgeon recommended I look into oral surgery. I had not thought of the option at all. Uh, when I started uh, reading and, and looking into it, I thought it was a great opportunity. Um, what intrigued me about it and is what they recommended was the fact that it provided a good family life. 
the call was uh, a lot less than most surgeons have to deal with in a, at a hospice. The family life, again, uh, was a lot easier. And then when I, for me, particularly, I was very interested in orthopedic surgery. And then surgeries that actually changed people's lives, uh, that made a profound difference. And for me, that is right now dental implants and teeth in a day. Again, I'm Dr. Brenda Hall, oral maxillofacial surgeon, amazing friend to Dr. Michelle Chartier, <laughs> yoga partner. And I have been honored to answer these questions for you. I hope that was helpful. I really enjoyed Dr. Brenda Hall, and I love that there's a huge leaf blower that's been going on this whole time. <laughs> you just can't film anything outdoors these days. Anyway, uh, please enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, all the good things. And if you have any more recommendations, I'm happy to listen and I'll bring those uh, videos to you as soon as possible. Have a great day, bye.